this is Larry Sparks from Destiny Image. We just finished filming the curriculum for Chris Vallotton's basic training for the prophetic ministry. It's been a powerful time. This resource is going to give you the basics that you need to know about operating in the prophetic. A lot of believers think, is that for me? Am I able to war, operate, work, move in the gifts of the Holy Spirit? The wonderful thing about this resource, it, it answers that question. You are able to do that because the same Holy Spirit that rested upon, lived inside of Jesus, is also inside of you. So Chris, thank you so much for doing this. Thank I you. want to ask you some basic questions just to give our folks out there an idea of what this curriculum is all about. Sounds great. So the first one is, what's the difference? And th a lot of these are covered in the curriculum, so this is just going to be very basic. What's the difference between Old Testament and New Testament prophetic ministry? Well, in the Old Testament, the, the basic role of the prophet was to let people know that when they broke the law that they were to be judged mm. because the whole goal of the Old Testament was to lead us to a savior. Yeah. And so the, goal that, so the goal of the Old Testament was to let us know that we could not be good enough without Jesus to actually have a relationship with God and, and go to heaven. Mm. So the Old Testament prophet's role was to say, you broke the law and you deserve judgment. Yeah. But in the New Testament, obviously 2 Corinthians chapter five, that if any man be in Christ, he's a new creation. Mm. Old things have passed away and all things have become new. The next verse says, and God was in Christ reconciling the world to himself, not counting our trespasses against us. And then he goes on to say, and we've been given the ministry of reconciliation as if God was begging through us, be reconciled to God. So our ministry in the Old Testament, the ministry of the prophet called out the sins of the people and required them to be judged. In the New Testament, we get to reconcile people to God by not counting their trespasses against them and finding the treasure and the gold that the Lord has hidden in every single person. Well, and a lot of people are probably looking at a resource like this and they see prophetic ministry. And Christians think, am I qualified to move in the prophetic? Am I able to prophesy? Do you think all believers can prophesy? Yeah, in fact, Paul said um, we can all prophesy one by one. And he said, earnestly desire spiritual gifts but especially that you would prophesy. And so it's not actually a suggestion. It's actually a command. 1 Corinthians 14, it's a command. Just as we're commanded in 1 Corinthians 13 to love one another, we're commanded in 1 Corinthians 14 to earnestly desire spiritual gifts. Mm -hmm. So the Lord wouldn't command us to do something that we couldn't do. Yeah. And of course, um, somebody you know, would say, well, I can't do anything without God. Well, that's true, but you're not without God. So you can do all things with God, and these are God's gifts. These are the Holy Spirit's, this is the Holy Spirit's ministry working through every believer. Yeah. Now, why would you say the prophetic ministry is so needed in the church today? Oh, because the prophetic ministry is about encouraging, exhorting, and comforting people. Mm -hmm. And one of the greatest needs in the body of Christ is for people to be encouraged. Like, they need courage. Yeah. And they need, they need to be comforted. They need to be exhorted. They need to be built up. And so... This is, a, this is the prophetic gift, it, it procreates with God. Yeah. You know, when God said, let there be light, you know, there was light. And God moves through people, when he, when he gives us a word, we're procreating with God. We are releasing goodness and kindness and gentleness. We are releasing, we are releasing the kingdom into people through prophetic declarations. Yeah. And Chris, would you be able to share with our folks out there just by looking at the camera, can you let them know why you wrote this, why, why you put together this manual, this curriculum, and what you envision it doing for believers in their lives? Yeah, I wrote this curriculum some time ago, actually. It was before it became a manual. It was just my notes, and I was teaching out of this, like, about 40 pages of notes. I was going around the country, and I was equipping the body of Christ in, the, in prophetic ministry. And one day, my secretary said to me, you know, these notes, these people need to take these notes home and be able to study them because they're listening to you in a, in a one-day session and they actually need something to refer back to and refresh their minds and, and to grow and learn. And there needs to be some questions and answers in the, in the manual so that they can actually use it to grow their, themselves. And so um, she actually uh, formatted it originally into uh, what now has become this manual. And we've, we've used it for probably about 15 years. We use it in our school ministry. Every school ministry student receives a manual and we, we teach out of it every year. Yeah. Well, can you tell them some practical ways these principles will empower them for just everyday living? Well, the, the first thing is it just, it answers the question like, what is prophecy? Yeah. Like people are always like, what is prophecy? Um, how, how do I actually receive the gift of prophecy? I've been a Christian for X amount of years. I've never received a prophecy. And you're saying every Christian is supposed to prophesy. And I actually 
kind of makes me feel guilty. And so it's like, should I feel guilty or how do I get this gift? And, and if I have the gift, how do I actually know I have it and what do I do with it? So it's all those kind of things. And then it, 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 it's the practical part too of when someone does give me a prophetic word, how do I know it's from God? Like how do I know it's a great idea or a bad idea? Or, you know, how, how do I know if it's from God? And, and then it's like, how do I grow in a gift? Yes, I have this gift of prophecy. Um, I maybe I've had it since I was little. I don't actually know how to grow it in my life. So it answers those kind of questions. Yeah. The basic training for the prophetic manual, the curriculum, which features eight DVD sessions and a study guide will be coming soon. We believe it's going to bless you. It's very practical and it will show you how to integrate prophetic ministry into everyday life. It doesn't have to be something that's distant. It's not something that's just reserved for a pastor or a leader. Every single believer is able to operate in the prophetic ministry. And through this curriculum, Chris shares with you the principles on how to do that. And I believe you'll be blessed by that. Thank you. Thank you very much.